I was worried there's gonna be an episode like this. Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Jason Freeman. I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. In this video I review episode three of season two of Loki titled 1893. So Victor Timely is the main character or he's one of the main people in this episode. He's, we're introduced to Victor Timely who is a variant of He Who Remains he, of Kang. And so a lot of his introduction was forced comedy, how he speaks, how he acts. He literally uh, is hiding under stuff because he's a he's a shyster, he's a confidence man. And so it was just, it was very forced and they're trying to make him him quirky and funny and it just doesn't work for me. I mean, this is a big bad for Phase 5 and Phase 6. And I, I understand that it's, this is a variant, and I get that part. But every time we've seen Kang, he's getting beat by ants. He's getting beat by, beat by the goofiest of the Avengers. So we're not talking about Hulk. We're not talking about, you know, um, Doctor Strange. Now, it would be interesting if he had face off with Doctor Strange, even though he has no magical powers, to see him face off with him. No, nope, he's going to face against Ant-Man. And, and so he's already been kind of undermined in that regard. And this episode doesn't do anything to make him... Like, they tell us he's menacing. They tell us he's going to be dangerous. I don't see it. Another thing that was forced was the romance between him and Ravona. Or Ravana. Um, in the comics, they are an item, at least Kang and her. That's his main love interest. And so they were setting it up. And so they're, they're, they're seeing each other and they're falling in love. And the, the romance is there after just meeting each other, yada, yada, yada. I don't see it. I don't, there's nothing really there. It's forced. Um, you know, here's my refrigerated beer in the refrigerator chair. Oh, how, no oh my God. And the Sylvie comes out of nowhere. Literally, just out of nowhere. She just pops in the episode, and she's there to kill Victor Tom. Why are you kill? He's not. This isn't he who remains. This isn't Kang. This is different. He's a variant. What, like he, like you're not the same exact same as Loki. So why are you trying to kill him? Well, I, I guess the idea is that all the variants are gonna be evil. But even even Kang or he who remains says that's not the case. He's like some of us are just come together to spread technology and make the world better and then some of us are conquerors so not all of them are are, are evil uh, but I guess she sees them all as evil so she's, she's a serial killer she's gonna kill every every uh, variant of Kang he who remains that she sees so she's I guess she's an anti no she's a murderer <laughs> this is an anti-hero this is a psychotic killer literally some guy is gonna be walking with his, with his kid and she's gonna come out and stab him you're a variant he's like I don't know what who you are Miss Menace goes on a rant. Oh, oh spoiler, by the way. Uh, yeah, spoiler, spoilers. Um, so Miss Menace is, is in love with he who remains slash Kang. She wants to be his girlfriend. Sure. Well, I guess she develops sexual feelings. She's self-aware, but come on. And Kang doesn't like partnership. He doesn't want to be partners with anybody. Now, the thing with that one is... At some point, you have to partner up to, because you can't do literally all this stuff by yourself. Like, you need other people. Like, you need an army. You need other people. But I guess he doesn't do partnerships, so every time someone who can help him get whatever his goals, he's going to just kick him out of the way because he doesn't do partners. So, should you see this episode or skip it? Please skip it. This is not a good episode. Like, if you've seen it already, already you, may, you may disagree, but if you've not seen it, there's nothing in me that makes me want to say watch this episode. It it totally undermines Kang. I know, you know, this isn't the same guy, but he's a goofball. Like, he's a straight-up goofball. There's nothing menacing about him. There's nothing that makes me think he's the next Thanos. He's just a goofball. You don't have to go this way, but they've chosen to go this way. Um, it, it, again, everything's a joke. It, it's a whole MCU thing. And again, if you love the humor, keep watching. Um... I'm actually at the point where I am getting really tired of it. Um, you know, I go. I went into it because I liked how it ended. The um, they ended with the introduction of He Who Remains and 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 the whole idea of Kane coming. So far, I am not like the first two episodes. I'll say I enjoyed most of it, like a big chunks of it. This one I didn't enjoy at all. So it's one of those things. I mean, I know Marvel is is, is you know getting a lot more criticism. I've been one someone who's been like you know just. It takes time to build these things, but with this particular series, I I, I don't know. So I'm going to keep watching it, um, but you can skip this episode. This episode was horrible. Now, if you found this review interesting and or informative, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, please share this video. 
And if there are other comic or sci-fi related properties you want me to review in future videos, please leave those suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you all for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.